Hello there everybody, my name is Coach Shadow Longster from Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Coach Shell review. This is from the Wild Mouse at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, so before we get started we have uh, some big big shout outs to give to you. So uh, shout outs for this video uh, go to Thorax Changeling, Theme Park Insanity, Ride Madness and DJB Coasters. Uh, so big shout out to you guys. If you want a shout out in our next brand new recorded video, which will be on Friday, uh, we'll be recording some brand new videos. If you want a shout out Friday, then write them in the comments down below. Uh, I'll put a post out on my community as well uh, towards the end of the week, just to remind you guys if you want a shout out, if you haven't shouted out already. And let's get into this review then. So this is on Wild Miles of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. This opened in 1958. Uh, it last operated in 2017. Uh, it was demolished early 2018 without any warning. Uh, and yeah, this is a wooden Wild Mouse closer at the classic Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Uh, now, Wild Mouse is an intriguing concept. And again, it's what I've said this in past videos from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's one of those rides where I'm glad to have got the credit. I'm so glad to have got the credit. Like with the big one, like with Revolution. Corkscrew Alton Towers, you know, there's loads of things. Thailand Tours, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, that was a big one. Um, you know, uh, you know, going back a bit here, you know, my first trip to Alton Towers was 2005, 2006. Uh, so this is in the days when Rita was first coming around and, you know, um, you know, Ogland was still a couple of years away from, you know, removal, I should say. Um, you know, and it was, it, it, it's, you know, it's one of those things where you're proud to get the historic credit just for the history of it. Uh, as a ride experience, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie, it was an alright ride. It wasn't spectacular and it wasn't poor. It was just alright, it was just decent. Um, I think the, because uh, I heard that the, I think it was the last season of operation or the last couple of seasons of operation uh, where they added the magnetic braking system at the end of the ride. Um... You know, that was a, a good addition for me. I feel like the magnetic brake system really gave it a bit more kink to it. Uh, <laughs> um, but I felt it was better. I felt the magnetic, man, magnetic braking system was better um, than if you sort of kept an original braking system. So I feel like that's just like simple refurbishments and simple updates they did to the ride. Um, you know, and I think that. It's a, it's a good one. It's a good, uh, it was a good part of the ride. It was a good braking system to have. Uh, the, the sort of slight, like the gliding turns and the sharp turns. Gliding turns, if you didn't know already, it's like the, not like the sharp turns, like the, obviously in a wild mouse coaster, you get like your real, real sharp turns. Your gliding turns are a bit more outstretched. Uh, I felt like the more outstretched turns were great as well. The sharp turns were brilliant. It felt like I was going to hit my head on the structure. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, it was just it was just a historic ride, and there's that classic turn out of the structure, that classic outstretched turn uh, where you could literally like, oversee the rest of the sort of front of the park, and you can see like the top of Big One's turn uh, near Impossible. And the and opposite the Grand National and you know things like that and it's just it's just those views that I'm really going to miss about this ride. So um, you know overall, Wild Mouse just a historic credit, a real real coast to get, and I feel like I feel proud to have got the credit. So um, yeah, plenty about this ride to love. Not really much stuff to hate because it's not a hateable ride. Uh, but there we go. So thank you very much for this theme park news, uh, this Coast Shell review. Now it's a news update. What was it a news update? Uh, this review from the Wild Mouse at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you share with your friends, family, and on social media. And make sure you also get your questions in for the Q&A. Uh, when we hit 1,500 subscribers, use hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, keep on the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.